Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Today is 11 20, 20. So you know what number we're talking about today, don't you? The number 20. Hope you all are having a great day today. I know that you are because that's the intention you set when you woke up today. So I know you had a great day today and I know you're continuing to have a great day. So happy Friday. Yes, the number 20. Let's talk about it. The number 20 um, symbolizes the awakening. I know you all are awakening right now in every area of your lives. And I know it has to feel good. I know it has to feel good. <sighs> Aries, I just want you all to just take a deep breath and go with the flow of the universe. Some wonderful things are happening in all of your lives. That's right. Nothing missing, nothing lacking. This is a beautiful transition, transformation that's happening with all of you all. The awakening is actually bringing new purpose and new goals to every area of your life. You are starting to find success in life as you, <clears throat> as a part of the team, right? So if you're married, your spouse is looking a whole lot different because you're starting to see through the heart of who they are. You're starting to recognize that we are all a reflection of each other. So you're seeing through the heart of family members. You're seeing to the heart of every single spirit you pass on the street, your spouse, your children. They are looking at you different. It's a beautiful thing that's happening right now. I want you all to embrace it, Aries, okay? Wonderful things. The number 20 is very powerful. But don't I say that about all the numbers? Because they are. They're all powerful. But we're talking about the number 20. I want you all to get into it. Like, really just... <sighs> breathe it all in. Just get into it. Woo, I love numbers. Listen, if you don't love numbers, by the time you finish watching my channel, you'll love numbers too. Listen, also your work, you will work well with groups and you're going to create harmony, even in spaces where there's differing opinions, because that's the energy you bring, Aries. I'm trying to tell you how powerful you all are. This is, woo, this is not... This is grown folk conversation. We're not talking to kids. <laughs> We're talking to adults, right? I'm talking about these mature spirits out here that's like you ready to kick it up a notch, take it to the next level. You all are very kind-hearted people. There's never a reason for you to ever go back to going from zero to a thousand on the person, especially when you know how to tap into your divine feminine energy. Remember, doesn't matter how you identify, man, woman, whatever. Um, you are divine masculine, you are givers, right? But now you're giving with wisdom. You're actually starting to see, you're starting to say no to people, but with compassion, with wisdom, like no, and you don't feel bad about it. You're just like, okay, I've already given up my time. I've given up my person, my energy, right? My spirit. I don't need to give up money, right? I've given up money, but I, need, I don't need to give him my time and I don't need to give him my energy, right? You are starting to balance things out in every area of your life, right? You're also constantly adapting and renewing, you know, your life. So listen, some of you all, your dreams are very vivid now. I need you to pay attention to your dreams, very vivid dreams. Things are slowing down so you can pay attention, take snapshots in your mind. When you all wake up, I want you to start keeping a dream journal. Start doing some research. What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? Turning your attention away from low vibration energy, now turning it to what your spirit is trying to tell you. Hope you're listening. Know you're listening, right, Aries? Yes, colors are even more vibrant. You walk outside, now the, the trees are greener. The leaves on the trees are greener. The grass is greener. The sun seems to be brighter. You see an orange, it looks even more orange, like the colors are just bursting. And just like, whoa, wait a second, what is this? Sometimes you'll notice spirits around you. The ones that are in this realm and the ones that are in other realms. Don't be afraid. You're in another dimension. I'm telling you, Aries, I hope you all are paying attention. You all are spirits having a human experience, but that spiritual experience is on a whole nother level. Let me tell you. Also, sometimes you may feel a little paranoid, like maybe somebody's following you or looking at you or paying a little extra attention to you. It's that you're in another realm trying to get used to where you are feeling things out right now. You don't want to come down. 
It feels great. Continue embracing that. Food may even taste different, but in a good way, like, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And now, y'all, I'm vegan, okay? So, but let's say I had some mushroom chicken. <laughs> it tastes like, mmm, mmm. This is so good. Yes. So, just get used to that. Also, you're really starting to see through to the heart of the matter. So now you're starting to see the heart of why a person is the way that they are, especially hurt spirits that are running around hurting other people. And you're having compassion for them, but you're creating boundaries, right? Stopping them in their tracks. Like, no, okay, I understand you're hurting, but this is not the welcome mat zone where you just stomp all over me to hurt me let's get into your reading mm -hmm. i know y'all going some through some things and this is a beautiful transformation oh i'm loving this for you aries let's get into your reading most high god in the universe please give me a special reading for my beautiful aries as it relates to all areas of their lives specifically in this awakening yes eyes are popped wide open we talking about that third eye some of y'all in that crown chakra area, mm -hmm. looking at everything, seeing everything, just uh, omnipresent, omniscient. Yes. Every area of their lives, specifically in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, and also in areas of yes creativity and emotion good information Ooh, look at those cards that popped out we're gonna leave them right there because i know they have something to tell us you know when cars start dropping jumping out i know it's some messages coming through yes what information do we have from our wonderful aries yes Ooh. ah look at this boom the temperance card yes cool calm and collected i'm telling you aries people gonna be like hmm Y'all know what? Okay. Okay. No jokes. This is my serious voice. Okay. I want y'all to listen. This is my serious voice. We're not playing around. Okay. Tonight. I got some messages I need to get through because y'all not going to make me laugh tonight. I'm serious. Okay. Y'all at a turning point in your lives. You'll never go back to who you used to be. You are so mellowed out right now. People are like, um, what is up with the Aries? But it's such a beautiful place that you're in right now spiritually that <sighs> it's more like you're attracting people, but you're attracting different types of energy now, different types of people who want to be in your space right now, who don't want to take from you, but people who just want to just kind of glean from you, sort of sit at your feet and say, what is it? What is it that the Aries are? What is it that they're experiencing? I want some of that. And you all are dropping golden nuggets, right? That's why I encourage people, if you have a gift, if you speak another language, get online, share it with the world. If you are a healer in some way, shape, form, or fashion, get online, share it with the world. If you are a masseuse, get online, share it with the world. If you're a beautician, get online, share it with the world. There's so many gifts out here that we can share with the world. Start dropping golden nuggets. If you're going to be a giver, give with wisdom, right? It doesn't always have to come in the form of money. Educate people, help people to become their highest selves. Teach them to become their highest self. You're in a, ooh, this has to feel good, Aries. I'm telling you, it has to feel real good where you are right now. Look at you, king of swords. Yes, things are crystal clear. You're free. Finally, you are free. When I say that you start looking at people differently, if you're in a marriage and things have been a little challenging for a while, you start looking at your spouse um, or your partner or your significant other and speaking to their highest vibration because you're actually really speaking to yourself. So every word that you say, you'll watch everything you say because you're actually speaking to yourself, right? We're all a reflection of each other. Everything is clear to you now, just as clear as this blue sky. Yes, you're free. Hope y'all are getting into it. Your energies are balanced out. Look at this, completely balanced out. Look at you, this is you right? Looking over your energies, divine masculine, divine feminine, everything is balanced out in your life. That's why you're so cool, calm, and collected. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. 
That's what I'm talking about. Everything looks better. Colors are vibrant. Everything is in harmony. Remember I said the number 20 is the awakening number? Even when you're working with people, working with groups of people, you, cre you not them, you create harmony. Even if there's differing views around you. People have different viewpoints. You're the one that comes in and brings everybody together harmoniously. Your household is blessed. You are blessed. You're tapped into your divine feminine energy because by default you're divine masculine. You're at your highest frequency with both of them, divine feminine, divine masculine, because you know you can vibrate low even tapping into your divine, the other side of your duality, but you are at your highest Aries, right? Again, I know each and every one of you all are ready, so I'm talking to people who are there already who are saying, listen, I'm speaking this into existence. Even when I look around me, if I don't see it, I'm creating it. I know this is where I am. That's right, Aries. Listen, you're not to be played with. This is Aries 2.0. <laughs> this is Aries 2.0. Like y'all didn't come to play, right? That's what I'm talking about, Aries. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Yep. A lot of y'all are meditating more, looking back at your old self. I'm going to show you something. This is, you, this is how you used to look. Let me get this card out. This is how you used to look in bondage, craving freedom, letting people stomp all over you, say what they want to say to you, and you're not saying anything back because you want to appear to be the nice person. Aries, listen, I know you're nice. No more wearing no, hi, my name is nice. Hi, my name is compassion. Hi, my name is doormat. No, not anymore. Look how compassionate you looking at who you used to be. You almost feel sorry for that person you used to be like, wow, that was me. Yeah, Aries, that was you. Mm-hmm. That was you. Was. This is you now. Looking on with compassion. It's also the same way that you're looking at other people. Like, wow, that person is in bondage. That used to be me. Maybe if I speak to their highest vibration, they can be free like me. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh, boy, oh boy. Y'all are having conversations with people telepathically. People don't even realize how you are on their heart. How you are saying, open up the vault. Give this person a promotion. Give this person kindness. Show this person favor. Because you're having a conversation with them through here. Gaining an advantage. Especially with your enemies. Come on, Aries. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's how powerful you all are. I need y'all to stop playing around and be unapologetically great. I keep saying it. You're unapologetically great. Let me keep planting these seeds. Aries, you are unapologetically great. No more dimming your own light to make other people feel comfortable. Those days are over. That creates this right here self-sabotage you're not sabotaging yourself anymore matter of fact you're gonna come spinning twirling into a room hey i'm here let's get the party started right aries look at y'all sleeping like a baby this is what i'm talking about getting some good sleep you know how you sleeping so good <laughs> you wake up on the other side of the bed and sometimes you even fall off the bed you're just like whoa wait a minute <laughs> what in the world was i dreaming about but this person is like in a fetal position, like, whew, I feel like I'm in the womb or something. I mean, like, I am completely protected because that's what you are. You're completely protected, so you're getting that good, sound sleep. Yes. I see you, Aries. Unbothered. <laughs> completely unbothered. Look at you. Meditating more. Envisioning yourself on the beach. Sitting on the sand. Sailboats behind you. Uh-huh. Some of y'all live near beaches out there meditating, making the rest of us jealous while we over here shivering and cold. We're wearing, you know, big jackets and stuff. Yeah. So listen. But anyway, even for some of us who are um, experiencing the four seasons, we can still meditate in our homes and envision ourselves there. Visualization meditation. You put yourselves there. Cool, calm, and collected. Crown chakras. I see y'all right there. Uh-huh. Ace of Cups. 
loving yourself deeper and harder. People are attracted to you, even for the people who are married, even the people in the partnerships, relationships. Your significant other is looking at you like, hmm, you a snack. Ah, uh, look at you. A full course meal. Yes. Looking at you like, mm, something different about you. Yeah, sweetheart. It's my aura. <laughs> I've been awakened. <laughs> and you're saying the same thing to them. <laughs> they, they've been awakened. You've been awakened. Everybody's awakened, right? Feeling great. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It all starts with love. But loving yourself and also loving other people. That's right. Boom. Brow chakra activated. Third eye popped wide open. Even when your eyes are closed, your third eye is never asleep. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. This is what you were trying to get to all this time. This is what you were trying to get to. So that's what I have for you. Listen, you all are experiencing awakening. Like I said, vivid dreams, you know, colors are more vibrant than they've ever been before. It's like, even with your dreams, things have slowed down so you can take a snapshot. So when you wake up, you're like, wow, I've never dreamed like that before. Now all of a sudden the colors are more vibrant on the trees. The grass is looking greener. You know, I, I opened up an orange today or a tangerine. All of a sudden it just tastes juicier. It seemed like it was just handpicked just for you, right? The awakening. That's what's happening with you, Aries. I need you to embrace it because it only gets better from here. Have a great day. Bye.